Hi everyone and welcome to another Address from the Press. Even if I tried to explain the amount of work that has gone into navigating a responsible and acceptable position for the membership following the opening of the borders, I wouldn't do it justice. I can assure you that our caretaker CEO Taryn, manager game and corporate services Lou, and manager clubs and governance Sara have been working tirelessly on the issue of COVID and associated vaccination expectations. There is no easy solution. With COVID related issues taking up a lot of time for those three, a shout out to the rest of the team. To Lucy, Daniela, Isaac, Joe, James and Hugh, we thank you for your efforts too. We bowlers are very fortunate to have a great team looking after our game and well-being. Bowls SA surveyed the membership with a terrific response and we conducted a Zoom meeting with the associations with two overwhelming outcomes. First, that 93% of our membership are double vaccinated and second, Bowls SA should lead the way. We acknowledge that expectation and the difficulty of finding a position acceptable to all members and the game. Regardless of any decision Bowls SA does or does not take, consultation and communication is the key. On Tuesday just gone, we had an extraordinary board meeting to discuss the issue of mandatory vaccination due to the number of clubs contacting Bowls SA to ask us about our position on mandatory vaccinations and to make us aware that they were considering heading down the path of no jab, no play and the implications of that strategy on penance. There was lengthy debate and differing views. As is current, here is Bowles SA's position as resolved at the board meeting on Tuesday the 30th November that noting its duty of care to provide a safe environment for the bowls community, its commitment to an inclusive sport for all, and its concern for both administrative burden on and safety of volunteers, and balancing the above with both the high rates of vaccination indicated in the recent survey of the bowls community and the low rate of COVID-19 in South Australia at this time, the Board of Bowls SA has directed the CEO to, to liaise with associations to work through how a no jab, no play policy could be implemented to progress a proactive campaign to encourage vaccinations in the bowls community and to provide a report with relevant recommendations to protect the health and safety of the staff at the next meeting. All of this information, and there was a lot there, has been sent to association presidents and secretaries and clubs. If you haven't seen the memo, please ask your club secretary and read it carefully. The COVID landscape is extremely fluid and even 48 hours after our meeting and at the time of me doing this message to you, the situation in South Australia has changed. I'm certain it will have changed again by the time you are viewing this. For that very reason, the board is committed to meeting weekly to deal with the changing COVID landscape with South SA Health guidelines and the mandatory vaccination debate. We are in this together. We are a family and we need to look after each other. Let's chat. I, you, we all have a view on the matter, so please call the office and let us know your thoughts, concerns, or better still, the ideal solution. In the meantime, stay safe, masks on and QR code in please at all bowling clubs. And this includes if you are popping into the Bowls SA office. Before I sign off, can I encourage you, if not already done, add your email address to Bowls Link. You won't be bombarded with spam or rubbish emails, but rather communication from Bowles SA with the latest COVID memo, a prime example. Take care.